disasters are becoming, as you know, more common, more complex, and in some ways more insecure. So it's very important that we're looking holistically um, at disasters and what it is we do. We need to make sure that we're using our resources the best way possible. So really looking at data, how do we analyze the data so that that can help us to inform the decisions that we are making. The organizers have done a really good job in curating the different um, groups uh, and speakers who are represented here. A big plus that I really enjoy is the uh, technology fair that you have here outside as well. You can talk directly to the companies and that kind of conversation needs to happen more and more. Where you help facilitate that conversation between industry, between different industries, private sector as well as the, the humanitarian industries. And uh, I must say that we're very happy with the outcome of these events because I think we really have access to quite a large number of people that we do not uh, regularly meet in our daily business today and uh, to be able to present uh, our company, our products and our efforts to all of these people is very beneficial for us. I like the event, I like the audience. Uh, one of the panelists asked in the beginning for the last session, who's in the audience? We had service providers, we had the private sector, we had humanitarian organizations, we had policy people and we also had people that were representing various governments. So I think for sure next year we will continue to participate in the events. Uh, and I think the success is also due to the quality of the participants. What is the big agenda? And that's being able to bridge the humanitarian and development divide. And that's what AIDF does. It brings together a lot of different players from different backgrounds and talk about interesting issues. We are living through a paradoxical time. We are safer than the world has ever been. We have better technology, we have closer communications, we have better collaboration in many ways but we're also at greater risk than ever. Most of the world is still unprepared for an infectious disease or other health emergency. So we're seeing uh, both sides of technology yield real dividends.